everybody welcome back to my channel so i'm going to do another bejeweled wave and this time i'm going to do it in kind of sunset colors uh, on a white background though so my base is um, bare premium paint inside house color paint and primer in one and i put my kind of cell activator in the white base and for that, I have used Josonia Gloss Varnish, and this is a water-based polyurethane varnish, so it works really well with acrylic. And then I have um, also got Floetrol and water in here. And you can see, I hope you can see the consistency. Let me see if I can get the light shining on it. So it doesn't really create any um, snakes or puddles on the surface is quite runny. And then my colours, I've got Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green, some Artist Loft Cerulean Blue, that's got Floetrol and water in it. And then I'm using Arteza's uh, Vermilion Red. And this is going to be really bright. Um, neon orange. I was debating about whether to use a different orange, but I'm going to give this a go. I'm not going to use a lot of it. And then this is just a bright gold that I had that I mixed up, and I'm not sure of the name of it. So without further ado, let's begin. So I'm going to crest it around here so let me begin with begin with the crest all righty i always find it easier to do the crest first and I don't want this orange to take over. So I'm just going to put a few blobs of this because it will be bright. And then I've got all my bead collection here. And some gold. And I wanted to show you this. So I ordered these online and they these are what you get in pizzas. You know when you order a box of pizza and they make really good little stands for canvases. And I got like, I don't know, 300 of them for uh, like $12 off Amazon. So here we go. And this gold is really, it's like 24 karat gold. So it should be really lovely. Finally getting sorted out in my new studio. I've still got some videos to upload from my old studio, but it's taking me a while to get organized in here. I can't find everything. Okay, let me try a little bit more red. Mm. Shall I? Oh, you know. Wait one sec, I'm going to get my favourite Arteza colour. This is my favourite Arteza colour. Sea green. Love it. All right, let's, let's blow the baby out. 
Well, now I'm going to have a little bit more gold up here. Okie dokie. Gently does it. Let me take this off as it falls. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to start here. Oh, and I've also got this thing. And this was recommended by Tammy Anderson. And I forget what it's called, but you can put one end in your mouth. Instead of blowing, because I find I'm not very successful. Oh, I'm going to torch this now with blowing with my mouth. <laughs> But this is really good because you can kind of really angle it much better. I'm just going to torch the bubbles. And I'll check on the name of it and I'll put it in the description. Yeah, there's already some stuff going on. Okay. seen any of that orange. Might just put a little bit more here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I don't know which end to blow. I think I'm going to use the big end and blow this out a little bit. Oh, I don't know which end. I can use both, I guess. Uh, now I have to do this end. Maybe I don't have enough puff. Nice. Make me dizzy. She does make me quite dizzy. Oh, that's really selling up. So I'm going to take the torch and, oh my gosh, high as a kite now. And I'll put my, my jewels 
night. Before I do that, I'm going to bring him for a close up. Um, let me blow this edge off a little bit. I do like the control this gives you. I've got to practice puffing. Right. Before I put the jewels on, I'm going to bring you in for a close up. And let me adjust the lighting a little bit, as you can see. Look at those gorgeous cells. Sorry about the glare. I'm going to resin this when it's done. And the orange did come through. It's quite subtle. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, look at that. All right, I'm going to scrape my edges so it doesn't move. And then we'll add some bling. Okay, let's move my little Danny boy out the way. It's called, it's got my name Dan on it. All right, and let's get my beads. So here's my bead collection. And I've got these multicolored ones, but I don't think I'm going to use those. I think. I'm going to stick to, you know what didn't really come out in here? It might when it dries, is the gold. Oh, maybe there's some here. Maybe when it dries, because that really is a shimmery gold. Um, but I do have some kind of goldish beads. So let me just, maybe I should just pinch them. Oops. They look like water droplets. And I've got some bigger ones too. But I don't want one there. Let me just move this one. And now I've got to touch up that. So, I'm going to start with some bigger ones. I have these really gorgeous ones. Here's some crystal clear ones. That really makes it look bubbles. Lots of bubbles. Lots of little bubbles. Okay, so once that is dry, come back and resin it and then we'll after it's resin we'll take a look at the dry result and here's the dry results it's actually turned out like just absolutely gorgeous 
I, oh my gosh, I, like, sorry, the coughing in the background is my little old dog. But anyway, so let me bring you in for close-ups. Look, can you see all the bling? It isn't really bling. They look like water droplets. So I have a whole new idea for waves. And again, I have to thank Molly for this inspiration because she really was my inspiration. Molly is just this most positive artist and I will leave a link to her channel below. I'm sure you already follow her. Um, but yeah, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love this piece. So please leave a comment below and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I'll see you next time because I have so many great ideas. Thanks for watching. Bye.